There are at least 7,000 rare diseases and many of these are life-threatening or serious conditions and many of them affect children. Some of the examples that people are familiar with are cystic fibrosis and Duchenne muscular dystrophy, but mostly these diseases are really hard to diagnose. And so patients go on a very long diagnostic odyssey where they see many, many specialists, they have lots of tests, and still, in many cases, they don't have an answer as to why their child has a particular condition. And so what genome sequencing offers is the potential to make the diagnostic odyssey much more straightforward and simpler for these families and to provide a genetic diagnosis far earlier on in the patient pathway. I first met Jessica and her family towards the end of 2013 and the story from her parents was that she was born following a normal pregnancy and normal delivery but after the first few months of life it became apparent that she wasn't really meeting her normal developmental milestones. And I think just after the age of about one, Jessica started to have fits, which were obviously of great concern. Um, she was then referred to specialists for investigation of her problems, and then underwent a lot of tests over the next few years. So those would have included blood tests, x-rays, scans, and a lumbar puncture. But in spite of all of these tests, uh, there still wasn't really a definite diagnosis for Jessica other than developmental delay and epilepsy. The difficulty in trying to make a diagnosis in children such as Jessica is that the combination of problems are really not uncommon and rather undistinctive developmental delay and epilepsy. And as you can imagine, in order to uh, function normally, the brain needs thousands of genes all working together, all working correctly in order for development to be age appropriate. Um, we just don't know in a child with developmental delay which of those thousands of genes might not be working properly. So the aim of the 100,000 Genomes Project, particularly from the point of view of rare diseases, is instead of trying to guess which one of the genes might not be working, is to just say, well, we don't know which gene um, is responsible here, so we're just going to analyse all of an individual's genetic material in order to find out what is different about that person compared to other people without those problems. Jessica's mother heard about the 100,000 Genomes Project through the Syndromes Without a Name and the charity Unique, who were asking for volunteers and suitable participants to undergo whole genome sequencing. So Mrs. Wright thought, well, why not give it a go? Because we still don't have a diagnosis, even after all this time. <laughs>